Hey YouTube, it's Numistaka here, and uh, I got another delivery today from uh, NGC, and this one is a specific delivery of, uh, of coins which have been conserved by NCS, and then as part of the conservation service, they then forward them to NGC and grade them afterwards. The approximate cost of basic conservation and grading is round about $28 for coins up to $300 in value. And if they go up to, uh, I think, $2,000 in value, then they charge $50 for the process. Um, and that applies to coins which are produced after 1970. Uh, anything earlier than that, they are conserved at 5% of their market value plus the grading tier. So uh, this one is one that uh, I bought off uh, a guy on the Silver Forum. <coughs> it had red spot and it was in a, uh, a pouch and uh, I thought it would benefit from conservation. Uh, it cleaned up really nicely, uh, very pleased with this. Um, I, didn't, I probably didn't add a huge amount of value but I certainly added in terms of desirability um, and they did a very good job cleaning the coin. Um, this is a coin that was um, given to me, in fact like all the others that are now in this box, these are not my coins, these are coins off uh, uh, from a guy on the Silver Forum and I did him a favour and sent them to NCS on his behalf for grading. Um, so you can see the results, very nice grade uh, on the Panda, the 2001 Panda. Um, and then the rest of them are silver pandas, different years. They were all in their original um, <clears throat> mint packaging. Um, they all looked okay, but I think um, putting them through conservation does actually make them look brighter and shinier and protects them for longer. And, uh, and actually the grades were, were pretty good. Um, a lot of these older pandas it's almost impossible to get a 70 grade, so a 69 is pretty much as good as it gets. And I just thought I'd show them to you because it's always a nice thing to see some of these older pandas. Um, I think they're one of the most beautiful silver coins, probably alongside the Libertad and maybe the Britannia to collect, but some of the American Eagles are nice for you Americans as well. But uh, I particularly like the pandas because they have a different design each year. Um, they're not proof coins, they're all MS bullion coins and they're probably, maybe along with the Perth Mint, some of the finest non-proof um, coins that you can get really. Interestingly if you send this year's pandas you'll get probably most 70s, last year's uh, a little bit less in proportion for 70s but um, some of the older ones from before 2010 most of them are in 69. Uh, the 70s are very expensive and pretty unusual to come by. So let me know what are your favourite panda designs. I think um, this covers quite a few of them. Uh, some of the nicer ones. I put it, my favourites, I guess, are the 2001, 2002. I thought was really nice. Um, but some of the mid-2000s are really good. And some of the late 90s are also really attractive designs. Um, interested to see what they'll do next year, whether they'll stay with the same basic philosophy of design. Uh, you can see with pandas, they, they quite often, every few years, they change the design language of the coin. Uh, sometimes they do a change to the rear, sometimes they do a change to the front, uh, but they do go through changes and seasons with this coin. And um, it'll be interesting to see the next 30 gram one for 2017, what the design of that is going to be like. Um, so there you have it. Um, these are conserved coins from NCS graded by NGC and uh, let me know what you guys think of these.